previously on Zoe Valentine. Is that the other Valentine? I'm so sorry for your loss, Joey. Her name is Zoe. I wasn't born special like my sister. Charming, social, and dating the football star. Hey. Me? It's me, Isaac. I saw with Cleo not around, you might be lonely. Well, you assumed wrong. Earth to Zoe. Do you want to practice tonight or not? How would you feel if we took a break from magic? Confused. You've been so into it. There's a lot of other ways I could be spending my time. Keep an eye on the leadership committee of the student council, and we think you should run. For treasurer. Could probably stand to do more things than card tricks. I think we could both do more socializing with actual people our ages. Why was Cleo's doctor driving away from her house? We were just at an event together. A charity thing. It was last minute. It's not a big deal. Does the name Kent Andrews mean anything to you? Were you in love with my sister? I was. Did she love you? She was cheating on you? Zoe, I'm gay. Your sister knew. She was protecting me. I just keep finding more questions about her than answers. Like, why didn't she want me to be a part of her life? Why'd she leave before teaching me about boy drama and, and our parents? She wanted to protect you. Hey, Cleo, I miss you, but I'm gonna be okay. And I'm gonna make you proud. Before Harry Houdini died, he left codes with his wife, Bess. Phrases he could use if he could communicate from beyond the grave. So Bess held a seance every year on the anniversary of his death, October 31st. But it never worked. And so she stopped trying. Maybe she was ready after 10 years to let her life go back to normal. And I get that, because so am I. I know most people are excited to come back to school after summer break and show off their new look, show how much they've changed. But, I just want to get back to the way things were. Nobody ever knows. Nobody ever sees. Praying to the Lord. Praying for my soul. Now please don't go. Oh no. I think of you whenever I'm alone. Now please don't go. Oh no. I think of you whenever I'm alone. So please don't go. everything. It was chill. Chill. That's it. I heard about you and Milo. Yeah. Turns out we're just better as friends. Mm. So. so it has nothing to do with Brody and Allison also breaking up. Oh my god. No, no. What? Please stop. What? I'm just saying maybe there's magic in the air. Ew, no. <laughs> hey, student council after school? Yes, I will see you at three. You got any tens? Go fish. Rats. <laughs> They're tarot cards. Yeah, I think I've seen some at the magic shop I go to. You're into magic? Yeah. That's so cool. Thanks. I'm Ryan Williams. Zoe Valentine.
This one looks pretty bad. Interesting, that's the death card. Yeah, I figured. It's not necessarily so bad. Sometimes it means change and transformation, like the beginning of sophomore year, for instance. It's so cool how we're the same year. As opposed to... Oh, last year a lot of my friends were older. Well, now I can be your friend. And my brother's a sophomore, too. What does this one mean? Oh, that's the tower. It means things are probably about to get really chaotic. It's cool how you know so much about this. <laughs> Almost as cool as knowing magic. I gotta go. Okay. got to stop sneaking up on me like that. In the future, I'll just call it Riggs from 20 feet down the hallway. Better? Second thought. So, where were you this morning? I didn't skip class. Mendoza changed my whole schedule around. They're bumping me up for grade in math. What? You little genius. Yeah, well, maybe if you studied once in a while. So, uh, I met a new friend in English. About yay tall, wearing a tunic with a pet line. Briggs, no making fun of my tarot cards. And besides, she was a real person who you would be lucky to get to meet. Here we go again. What? Brody! Hey! How was your summer? Did your phone, like, explode or something? It was actually really great. Nice to get out of Attaway for once. And, yeah, I wasn't really the best at texting. It's okay. We have an entire year to be outcast with no other friends, so... Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I have to see Ken today after student council. Did we have plans? The slab? Ice cream? Did you forget about our first day tradition? Right. Um, yeah, it's actually totally fine. I have a thing, too. Um, sure. Then see you later? Yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye. You lost your power, Zoe. What? Well, you had it right the first time, but you changed it. The power is two. Oh. OK, we've got another derivative to find. Ava, Ellie, who's going to do the next equation? Hi, everybody. Thank you for coming today. I'm Isaac, your student council president this year. This is Zoe, your treasurer. Hi. <laughs> and this is Evan, your secretary. Yeah. We are excited to be representing the school this year, but obviously we are short a member. Since Kiba dropped out, we need a new vice president. We'll be having a special election these next couple of weeks, so if you are interested, please sign up. Yeah. Are there any special benefits being on the student council? Uh, the chance to give back to your school and building your resume for college applications. Could we get reserved parking spots or something, too? Uh, we can consider it, but it probably won't happen. Why don't you get elected first before you get all concerned about where you're going to park your dad's Mercedes? Yeah, um. Viv. Yeah. Yeah, I was just wondering what kind of school-wide projects you were considering for this year. I'm interested in helping making Attaway more green, so I was just wondering if that's something we can do. That's a great suggestion, and some we're totally open to trying this year. Well, that was amazing. What? Your whole takedown of Austin DuPont. <laughs> he just needed to be reminded that his parents' money can't buy him everything he wants. He's a toolbox. Well, I can't be biased, but yeah, he kind of is a toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> Those are so cute. Did you draw them? Oh, no. That's my boyfriend's handiwork. He's becoming a pretty good artist. I used to date this guy for, like, a few weeks. He was an athlete. Super smart, just not really the artistic type, so. <laughs> It takes all kinds. Anyways, I gotta go find said boyfriend. I'll see you around, Madam Treasurer. Well, good luck with the campaign. Not that I'm biased or anything. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Mom? Hi, honey. Hi, are you okay? Oh, yeah. 
chopping some onions for dinner. A taco sound good? Sure. If you don't want any, throw them out. Hello. I'm running to the store. I need to tortillas. Okay. Okay. Um, I guess so. She said she needed tortillas. Tortillas, right? Must be taco night, huh? So, how was the first day back? Hmm, it was okay. I totally messed up a super easy math equation, though. That's okay. We all mess up sometimes. I was gonna go to the park, play some catch with Casper. You want to come with us? Oh. Um, I was actually gonna ask you if I could go to Junior's, just for a little bit. You gonna go see Brody? No, I was actually gonna see Kent. Well, tell him I said hello, okay? I will. Have fun. Hey, Cass! Grab your club, kid. Let's go play some ball. Then she just ran out and I saw the brochure. That's hard. I'm really sorry. Yeah. I don't know. It's just weird, you know? It's like a whole chapter she's just never gonna get to live. You really should come with me next week. Like grief group thing? Yeah, it's it's a group for people like us. It might be helpful for you. I know it has for me. You said you have big news for me, right? Just tell me, what is it? <laughs> Well, I got the results back from my scan, and they're all clear. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm officially in remission. Oh my god! <laughs> and that means I get to go back to school. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Thanks, it'll, it'll be my first time in a normal school in three years. It's going to be great. <laughs> Cheers to going back to normal. Cheers. Do you think I should tell Brody? <laughs> what? Brody? Yeah, over there. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. They're right in front of my door. Had to find shelter somewhere. Are you doing homework or something? I'm just practicing a new magic trick. Do you want to see it? So this is the new normal. Hey, kiddo. Just want to make sure you're up. It's almost time to go to school. Oh. And look. I'm sorry about the noise. But let's get going, okay? And if I win, I'll widen the spots in the parking lot to ensure easier parking for those with SUVs or large luxury vehicles that need extra room. A picture for the campaign? Oh, uh, I'm not really supposed to do this. It's just a picture. Posting. Uh, I'm not supposed to be biased. Silly Valentine, hi. Wanna have lunch together today? Ugh, I already told Isaac I'd eat with him. Then how about dinner at my house? Sorry, but I should see my dad tonight. We have some family stuff going on. Then how about juniors after school? We could do a tarot card reading. Deal, I'll see you then. Awesome. Okay, let's talk about the next equation. 8t cubed minus 20t plus... Uh, sorry I'm late. Miss Mendoza moved me from Algebra 2. Okay, take a seat then. All right, who wants to answer this? Hey, how about Lizzie? Come up and find the derivative of the next equation. Uh, hi, uh, do you know what page we're on? 27. Oh, thanks. Uh, sorry, do you have an extra pencil? Yeah. What's that? 
Nothing, sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine. I think you should check that one. carbon footprint and make the world a better place for all the armadillos to come. What are you gonna do about climate change? There's so much we can do. Mandatory carpooling, no more plastic straws in the cafeteria. But I love straws. Try Metal One. It lasts a lifetime. Madam Treasurer. Hi. You never told me the campaign trail would be so tough. I've seen a lot of vote for Viv buttons, so. <laughs> buttons aren't gonna cut it. Austin DuPont's basically handing out free iPads for votes. I don't know. Seems like a lot of people are on your side. I hope so. Room for one more? Hey, how was your morning? Well, let's see. My parents were fighting all morning, I just hit my head on a desk, and I was just rude to a perfectly nice girl, so. Let me guess. Viv? How'd you know that? There aren't many girls at Attaway that are dating your best friend. What? So they are dating? Did this entire school know and I didn't? I'm so sorry. I thought you knew. No, but it's fine, because it's fine, you know? It's, it's great. So happy for Brody, so, yeah. What? I just, it would have been nice if he told me about her, but, like, it's okay, because I'm not, it's not weird. It's fine, so, you know. Okay, and what class do you have next? Art with Brody. And you're not at all worried about it being weird? No, because it's not going to be weird, because everything is perfectly not weird. So, who are you texting? Um, <laughs> just guys from football camp. Group text. Wish me luck. We'll be starting today with color sketches. So, picture a color in your head, then free associate it with a feeling, a thought, a fleeting moment. Does everyone understand? Wonderful. Then let's start with red. Let's see some red. Get out those reds. Very nice. Beautiful work. Not bad. Now we move on to worship the sun, the daffodil, the school bus. Yellow. Get out those yellows. Let's see those colored pencils, those paints. I love the shading. Very nice work here. Look at that. The color of sadness, the waves of Poseidon, and the cerulean of a summer's day. Yes, my friends, show me blue. Very nice, very colorful, very, whoa, that's profound. Art is communal, friends. So let us pair up now and really dig into those associations, all right? I see some familiar pairs here. I want you two to switch, kind of get you out of your comfort zone. Uh, Brody, you can work with Zoe today. That'll be fun. And does everyone have a partner? Yeah? Great. Hey. Hi. Uh, guess we should look at our drawings or something. I saw you and Viv at Junior's. The thing with me and Viv is... I don't know, it's kind of like we're... Dating? <clears throat> As you can see by the drawing, the man is clearly upset. And uh, judging from the hat that he's wearing, he's outside. Maybe he got a parking ticket? Huh. I should have told you sooner. Yeah, you should have. It's just, I met her when I was on vacation, right after Allison dumped me. I didn't want to tell you over text, and we've both been so busy, so... I think the different styles of hearts represent different kinds of love, which is a well-intentioned flourish. Excellent, Zoe. Very insightful. Thank you. Can I make it up to you? Root beer floats on me after school. Can't. I'll take a rain check. Just hold down this button, lean in, and talk into the mic. You don't need to be loud or anything. The mic will pick it up. After you. You're a terrible president. Hi. 
Hi, Attaway. Um, this is your treasurer, Zoe Valentine. Um, I'm just here to let you know that the elections for a student council vice president are coming up. The candidates are Austin DuPont, Viv Anderson, and Ashley Cole. So make sure to check out their campaigns this week. Okay. Um, bye. I love you. I'm going to kill you. My first time on the air, I nearly passed out. So you're already doing a lot better than I did. I thought you did great. Hey, man. What's up? Hey, have you seen Zoe? She left the homework at student council. I think she had plans. Man, this one you two were attached at the hip. Catch you guys later. See ya. Attached to the hip? Who was he talking about? I think he was talking about Zoe. I didn't realize you two were so close. Yeah, we kind of grew up together. We used to do, like, magic and stuff. Wait, you did magic? That's way cute. My little Houdini. Where's Mom? She's, uh, out to dinner with some friends. I thought I'd order us a pizza. Pepperoni? Heck yeah, pepperoni. What? You gotta be kidding me. Hustle for it. Come on. Ah, uh, gotta feel it. In a tarot deck, the magician symbolizes resourcefulness. For some people, being resourceful means becoming the best athlete and getting a scholarship. Okay, so the order is you, you, and then you. Everybody got it? For others, right, it's running for student council and winning. Isaac? Yeah? I'm nervous. You're not even running. Why am I doing this and you're not? Uh, because you lost my paper scissors. Zoe Valentine, your student council treasurer. Today you'll be voting for a new vice president. Um, all of the candidates will get one minute to give their speech and you'll be able to fill out your ballots provided. Make sure to hand them in by the end of the day. And um, yeah, here's Austin DuPont. <clears throat> hi, students of Attaway. Hi, Attaway, hi. I'm Viv Anderson and I'm asking you to vote Viv for VP. You should vote for me because I know what matters to you. Vote for me because I'm responsible and fair. I promise to implement a new rule on seniors to eat off campus. More of our funds go towards better mental health programs. Student athletes will also receive massage therapy once a week. I'll make sure to institute a carpooling system. Large luxury vehicles will have better parking options. I may not be rich or have free things to give you, but I don't think the student council has anything to do with that. A vote for Austin is a vote for the best. I want to make high school a better place for all of us, not just the people on top. Thank you. And lastly, Ashley Cole. Vote big for VP! Easy, Tiger. We do not want to scare them off. Every vote counts. Plus, we've still got seven more hours. That's seven more hours of Austin buying votes. After your speech today, no one is going to vote for that jerk. Win or lose. I still get the best boyfriend. Is it me? It is me, right? It's so awkward that you're gonna grade my test and see all my dumb mistakes. Um, excuse me, but you're the one who's definitely gonna get all of them right, Mr. Math Genius. <laughs> Although, I already found the first mistake. I forgot to write your name. Riggs Williams. Wait, Williams? So you and Raya are like siblings? You mean because we don't look alike? I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> you did it. We're both adopted. Two moms. Oh, that's so cool. Usually. 
until Raya starts getting on my nerves. There's Brody handing out vote for Viv buttons. He didn't even lift a finger when I was running for treasurer. <sighs> Hello, Isaac. Okay, that is it. Who are you texting? Do not just say this is Boots. Okay, all right, all right. So there might be a guy. Oh my God! Shut up! Yeah. Tell me everything. Okay, his name is Elliot Fares. We met at football camp. Oh. He's really funny, super smart, and he goes around like. And you like him? Yeah, I really do. Elliot and Isaac sitting in a tree. <laughs> I deserve that, okay? So, when am I gonna meet this boy? I don't know. I know he really wants to meet everybody, but I'm, I'm just not there yet. Uh, nobody besides you and Milo even know that I'm gay. Like, I don't think I'm ready to face the reality of it. What's Allison gonna do? What's Boots gonna say? I mean, if they're not supportive, do you really wanna be their friends anyway? Can I see a picture? Yeah. yeah. Are you carefully tracking those votes? We're tracking them. And the results will be posted on the school website at 7. Victory shall be mine. Why do you have Zoe's tests? Peer review. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. You should write her a little note. Maybe a heart or something cute. What? Why would I do that? Because you obviously like her. Seriously? You promise not to do this. Come on. Raya, don't meddle. Please. I get it. You can match make all by yourself. <sighs> OK. Dude, who's blowing up your phone now? Nobody. Nobody. Or do you not even know her name, you animal? Is she hot? I said it's nobody. Tell you what, she's hotter than Allison. She's really hot, huh? I'm gonna tell your girlfriend you said that. Wait, wait, hey, bro, come on. I'm kidding. Mind your business. All right, we got a big game against Millwood next week, and I'm not trying to get humiliated like we did last year. Ty dropped the ball. You don't make field goals. Thanks again for coming with me. I didn't want to go alone. Kent was insistent. Of course. I'm just happy you called. I missed you. I missed you too. Oh, hey, Kay, um, this is Zoe. Actually, you guys should be friends. You're both into magic. Really? Are you a witch too? Oh, a magician, but witch seems really cool too. Your tricks are much more fun at parties. <laughs> All right, girls, we're getting ready to start. And since my Aunt Bonnie passed away, I've been trying to channel my sad feelings into other things. But that hasn't been going so well. And I can't help but feel like I'm disappointing her. It's been really hard, but I'm glad to be here. We're glad to have you here, Kate. And who else would like to go? Kent? Hi, everyone. Um, as I'm sure most of you know, I'm Kent. Um, and I got some good news recently. I am in remission. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Even though I'm feeling good about that, it also reminds me that I lost someone uh, really important to me. And I can't help but feel kind of, kind of guilty, you know? Uh, I, I survived, and, and Cleo didn't. We're forced to ask ourselves, why her? Why Cleo? Why not me? That's OK. Guilt is a big part of grieving. How about one of our new faces? Is it Zoe? Um, yeah. Hi. Uh, 
I'm Zoe. Um, I lost my big sister about nine months ago. She was Kent's girlfriend. Um, I miss her all the time. Um, that's it, I guess. Thank you for sharing, Zoe. Sorry, that wasn't a lot or anything. Just being here is a big step. It's not easy. We don't always have to say something for it to be true. I taught Luke how to use gifts, and I'm honestly regretting it. <laughs> So you two are still going strong. Yeah, he, Celeste, and Daniel are down near Crown Lake training. He keeps trying to make excuses up to come home, but I keep telling him Celeste has to deal with us all the time. <laughs> so he should at least put up with it for a little while. Mm, well, he's third wheeling with his brother, so doesn't sound very fun. <laughs> yeah, well, speaking of third wheeling, when can I meet this mysterious Brody that you're always talking about? Well, you won't have to worry about that because... I'm sorry, what is that? Yeah. Brody has a girlfriend, and he didn't even want to tell me about it. I thought he liked you. No, no, we're just friends. We've always been just friends. Okay. What? Okay, well, I did have this dream the other day. It's a little bit off-putting, because um, in this dream, him and I almost kissed. Mm -hmm. oh, oh my god, Zoe! Have you told him this? No, no, of course not. He has a girlfriend, Autumn. Okay, he only has a girlfriend because he thinks that you're not interested. Seriously, if you told him that you were, he would break up with her. Because you're perfect. Okay, first of all, no. And second of all, I don't even like him like that. Okay, well, you should at least tell him that you're feeling weird. <sighs> you wanna call him? No, nope. Mm -mm. We're not calling him, okay? He's also at Junior's for the election party. Then why are we still here? No. Let's go. No. Oh, come, you know you want to. No, Autumn, stop. I know that you want to go. Stop, stop. Ugh. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. The election results are in. Your new student council vice president is... Viv Anderson. Woo! We could spare you some help from the student council. I'll think about it. Hi, everyone. I'm Viv's campaign manager and boyfriend, Brody Clemens. Before I turn it over to her, I just wanted to say, not only is she a fantastic artist, but also the nicest girl I've ever met. I can't wait for the students at Attaway to get to know her the way that I do. Good luck, Viv. Thank you, everybody. Thank you all for agreeing to sit down for the Adway Appeal. Yeah, of course. Let's just get started. Why did you run for the student council? Um, Isaac asked me last year, and I thought it'd be a fun way to branch out and get more involved, so. Yeah, I thought it'd be a good chance to make a difference, even a small one in our school. I've always been known as the artsy girl, so I wanted to prove to everyone, myself included, that I could do something else. Perfect, okay. What are some things that students can expect from the student council this year? Well, last year, we went over budget and couldn't afford to implement the recycling program that had been promised. I wouldn't exactly say that. I didn't mean it as a knock on you, Isaac. Just that this year, we're looking to cut down on frivolous spendings on things like events and concentrate on more long-term programs that'll help benefit future students. Can you elaborate on what you mean by events? You know, just traditional stuff, like dances and rallies that don't really make a difference. So should we expect fewer events this year? Um, let me just jump in here. We're still planning on doing all the usual events, like the spring fling and the Halloween party. We're just gonna find ways to give back more, right? I guess the students can expect more of the same old, same old then. Of course, yeah, you should definitely come visit. It's just, this week isn't good. Of course I want to see you, you know that. Hey, I'm my teacher's here, let me call you back. Yo, you look like a sad little puppy. Some girl break your heart again? I'm just bum we lost to Millwood. Well, we'll get him next game, buddy. <laughs> Hi, 
Do you know what this card represents? Let me guess. Love, harmony, and new relationships. It's a sign, Zoe. It's a card, Raya. Open to interpretation. Don't you believe in omens? I think most of them are just illusions. I hate to break it to you, but there isn't actually a rabbit in my magic hat. The cards won't tell you anything if you don't believe in them. They tell me things about myself no one can know. And you think because this lover card is on the top of your deck. Yes, you and Riggs are both smart, funny, awesome people. You're perfect for each other. And I shouldn't say this, but I know for a fact my brother has a crush on you. Really? Then why hasn't he said anything? Just be open-minded, Zoe. Maybe a sign will present itself. I wouldn't worry about it. The appeal never publishes anything too controversial. Yeah, I just, I should have checked with them before saying all that stuff. I mean, what's the big deal? That we're gonna be smarter on our budgets? That's what I ran on and what they elected me to do. I just thought I should say it out loud. And Isaac and Zoe, they're really cool people and they'll get behind you if you give them the chance. Yeah, you're right. Isaac's been super easy to work with. What about Zoe? Wow, 97. And you were gonna stay in algebra too? It's weird. For a guy who memorized 200 digits of pi, I can't remember a single date for history. Raya, on the other hand, has that down, no problem. Well, now I know which William sibling to go to for history help. <laughs> Raya said you were homeschooled before you came to Attaway. You were too smart for regular school. Yeah, at least the first part. After Cleo, um, it's my sister, after she, after she died, um, I asked my parents to homeschool me too, but they both work, so they said no. I was homeschooled because I was bullied a lot. It was pretty bad. So sorry. It's okay. It's not something you tell someone when you first meet them, um, especially if they seem pretty awesome. Catch you later. Yeah. I mean, I don't know that drawing a heart on your test is the smoothest way to flirt, but <laughs> I'll give him points for taking a shot. How's everything going with Elliot? I mean, they're good. But? He really wants to come visit. Why is that a bad thing? I haven't even told my parents yet. I don't want to just like spring him on them, you know? I, I don't know what I'm doing. You'll figure it out, I promise. And I'm here whenever you need it. Aw, I need to draw a heart on my homework. Oh my god, I can't with you. What? Stop. Your brush strokes are so bold and intentional. I can see the influence of Van Gogh. Unless that blue splotch is accidental. Mmm, I see a supernatural force, a sort of cosmological tranquility. Brody, that's your pet turtle, Kevin, isn't it? Oh. Yes, thank you. I thought I recognized him. I went still paint on a shell. That's the blue splotch. <laughs> Don't worry. There are paintings that are literally sold for millions of dollars that look almost as bad as yours. Says the girl who painted an apple that looks like a pear. Touche. I don't know if I'm really cut out for all this art stuff. No, I thought you were going full steam artiste. Well, Viv really liked the idea of me as a painter. And what do you think? I really like being creative, but I don't think it's painting. Also, I'm getting kind of sick of getting paint on every single piece of clothing in my room. Hmm. If you put your clothes away, then maybe there'd be less clothes for you to get paint on. Plus, I think Kevin looked fabulous. Thanks, Zoe. I know that game was disappointing. Yeah, we lost. Drastically, Isaac. Okay, but we know what that means. All right, we need to buckle down. Focus, commit. Tie. Whatever, Evan. If anyone's to blame, it's me. All right, I'm the captain. So no finger pointing, Evan. We got a long season ahead of us, guys. All right, one loss isn't gonna sink us. Yeah, but we would've won if Ty would've caught the ball. Dude, come on. You heard him. Isaac's our captain. He calls the plays on and off the field. Anyone has a problem with that, 
They can deal with me. And for the first time, I felt okay about missing you. That was beautiful, Autumn. How about you, Zoe? You want to share your letter? Oh, um... I actually didn't get a chance to write a letter this week. I've just been really busy with student council and stuff. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Zoe. How about you, Kent? Um, dear Cleo, I, I still can't believe you have left me. I wish I could go back in time to the first day we met. You had the most beautiful smile on your face. You are the strongest and kindest person I know. <laughs> See you soon. Love, Kent. S E selenium, B R bromine, K R kryptonite. Kryptonite? I knew it was real. Very funny. What do you think about this painting that I did today? Um, it's it's definitely colorful. I mean, is it like a duck or something? It's my pet turtle, Kevin. Oh yeah, now I see it. So, how was your interview today? Fine, I guess. It's kind of awkward. I don't know, I get the feeling that your friend doesn't particularly care for me. What friend? Zoe? Ever since she found out we've been dating, she's been pretty frosty to me. Hmm. Doesn't sound like her. Maybe she's just taking student counsel too seriously. If you say so. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you? I mean, it's it's actually nice getting to share with everyone, getting to share with you. For those of us who wanted to share, at least. What? I told you I was just busy this week with school. You know, sometimes I just can't help but feel like everyone is forgetting Cleo. You don't think I'm forgetting Cleo, do you? No. No, of course not. I just... I think everybody has their own ways of grieving. It's okay. I promise. <laughs> Come on. You have dinner at Autumn's? Oh, yeah. Sorry I didn't text you. I just... We were talking and then she invited me. So... It's okay, Zoe. Okay. How's school going? Um, pretty good. My new math class is kind of hard, but my friend Raya's brother's helping me, so it's good. Another boy in your life, huh? Oh, we're just friends. <laughs> Zoe, you know I love you very much, right? So this has absolutely nothing to do with you. But your dad and I have decided to take some time apart, just until we can work through some things. I'm gonna spend a few weeks with your Aunt Judy. She needs help with her daycare center, and I think your little brother could benefit from some time away. What? You're gonna take Cass for two? It's just for a few weeks. I'm gonna call every day, and we'll be back before you know it.
Tarot cards are supposed to reveal a person's innermost self, based on the day they were born. Cleo said October was her birth month, so we had to celebrate her every day. Hi, Mom. Hi, Zoe. You doing okay? Are you coming home soon? Yeah, I'll be home soon. You have that test, remember? Yeah, I know. I just miss you. I miss you, too. Oh, I gotta go. Okay. And hey, don't forget your homework. I love you. Yep, I love you, too. I guess I just never considered she might not be here to celebrate. Hey guys, thanks for agreeing to meet before school. Coach extended practice for the next couple of weeks, so I wanted to make sure that we're finalized in the budget for the semester. Any of you guys have any thoughts or suggestions, let me know. Zoe? Um, we're running really close to the expected budget, but we're gonna have to make some sort of cuts if we want to continue this composting program. Of course we want to. We should just get rid of the Halloween party. What? No. It's the obvious thing to get rid of. It's the least important item on the list. Uh, I'm sorry, Zoe, but she's right. What? What if we find a way to make it cheaper or something? We can't just cut it. Why? It's just a party. Evan, what do you got for me? Uh, what if we did a bake sale? F prime of x is 2x squared minus 8x plus 9. Very good, Riggs. I don't know how you do it. Come on, you know the answer to that one, too. No, I was way off. I kept the constant. It's a little bit harder than we're used to. Make sure you're prepared for next week's quiz. Hey, Boots, I just, just want to talk to you about something. Um, we've been friends for a long time, and I just feel like, yo. Hey, man, I actually wanted to tell you. Dude, you'll never guess what I just heard. Crown Lake's running back just failed his Spanish test or something, so he's on academic probation. Dude, you know what that means, right? He can't play. Against us, dude. Next week, we got a real shot of beating him. That's, that's great, man. We could really use a win. You're right. Oh, wait, yeah, you said you wanted to say something. Uh, no. Nah. No, nah, let's just go tell the guys the good news. Hey, uh, Riggs. Zoe, hey. Uh, I saw what you put on my test. Did I grade something wrong? No. The heart? <laughs> the heart? What heart? You know, the thing being inside your rib cage. Uh, oh. Oh. No, I can explain. Oh, uh, no, you don't need to explain. I was just, um, wondering if you meant it. Like, maybe we could hang out sometime or something? No, I... Okay, no, because it's fine. It's it, I no, no, knew it was no, it's probably not, no, deal. It's I'll no. just see you around. That's not what it's I. It's okay. No. Bye. Zoe. Zoe. Hi. I'm sorry about earlier. I want to have the party too, but we just have to think about what's best for everyone, right? And that means that we have to make hard choices which really stinks because I had a really cute costume plan. Yeah, me too. Look, I know you and Brody are close and that things may be a little weird between us, but I was just hoping that we can be friends. Yeah, maybe. Let me think about it, okay? Yeah. Oh, I gotta go. Art. Hey, tell Brody that turtles aren't really his thing. Austin. Miss Vice President. I have something I need to talk to you about. You finally dumped that scrawny sophomore and you're ready to date a real man? You know what? Never mind. I knew this was a bad idea. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. What up, Anderson? How can I help? So you have a lot of disposable income, right? My dad says I'll be running the hotel pretty soon, so you could say that. Have you ever thought about using it to help out your classmates? Like free tutors for the SATs? That's not exactly what I had in mind.
feels every second you breathe. Okay. Sorry about the party, Zoe. Forget about it. Oh, yeah. I know he's getting frustrated because I keep blowing him off. I'm like, I want to hang out with him. It's just, my parents are so conservative. And then there's everybody here. Well, everybody here sucks anyway, so. Wow. Like, that's the most aggressive thing I've ever heard you say. Sorry, I'm in a bad mood. It's all right. Not exactly rainbows and sunshine today, either. Do you want to try something I learned at my grief group? Sure. completely alone, you're not. Because you have everyone here around you. We're showing up for each other. We're showing up to feel. We don't have to find the solutions today. We don't have to judge it. We just have to feel it. So, how about you? Would you like to start? Yeah, sure. Um, well, I first came here because of Zoe. Do you have your chem book? Yeah, why? Because I forgot mine. <laughs> Typical. Did something happen at school? No. Because if someone's bullying you, I will kick their butt. You drew a heart on Zoe's test. I told you not to meddle, and you did anyway. Craigs, it's just a little heart. A little heart that makes her think I'm, like, in love with her or something. I thought you were into her. Maybe. And I definitely get the feeling she's got a crush on you. I was just trying to help. You'd be so cute. Why don't you just give it a try? Two mysterious math geniuses deeply in love. Admit it, it's super cute. Isn't it your turn to set the table? The moms will be home soon. Hey, you missed your group today. Wasn't feeling talkative. Cleo's birthday is in a few weeks. Yeah, you don't think I know that, Kent? I don't know. You never really seem to talk about her anymore. You think you're the only one who misses her or something, but that is not true. She's the reason why I'm having this whole stupid Halloween party in the first place. I know she would have loved it. No, wait, Zoe, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to get on your case. It would just mean a lot to me if you, if you made an effort. Zoe? Are you all right? When did everything get so messed up? I don't know. I just want things to go back to normal. It's all I want this year. It's too much to ask. I know you want that. And I want that too. But so much has changed for all of us. It feels like everything is getting worse. Nothing's getting better. It hasn't even been a year since we lost Cleo. It's gonna take some time. Hey, we're gonna get through it. Together. I promise.
sparks keep spilling on my heart, but they don't have a clue how much I care for you. They don't have an idea. They then I was walking down the hall talking to my friend Ellie about this boy Jax that I really like. And then I walked around the corner and I literally ran right into him. Oh Ouch. my god. <laughs> what did you say? I mean, I just looked at him, turned around, and walked straight to PE. <laughs> <laughs> did he hear you? I mean, I wasn't exactly whispering. I don't think you know how to whisper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Subtlety has never been your strong suit. <laughs> you can thank mom for that one. I heard that. <laughs> Zoe, tell me you're not this mean to your parents. Don't let them become a bad influence on you. No, I think your kids are great. <laughs> mm, they have their moments. <laughs> so Zoe, tell us a little bit about yourself. How long have you lived in Attaway? Um, we moved here when I was eight, I think. So yeah, pretty long. And your parents, what do they do for work? Oh, uh, my dad does real estate law for people who build houses. And my mom hasn't worked since we were little. Oh, so you have siblings then? Um, mom, it's fine. Um, I have a little brother and I, used to have a big sister. Oh, I'm so sorry, Zoe. It's fine. Who wants berry cobbler? Ooh. I think it should be heated up by now. I'd love some, thank you. Ooh, okay, berry cobbler all around. Uh, Riggs, would you please go in the kitchen and help your mother? Thank you. Thanks for having me. Had a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, sorry my mom's asked so many questions. They're like, right, they don't know when to stop talking. It's fine. I think it's nice they want to know. Most of my family dinners are completely silent until my mom gets mad or Casper breaks something. Well, we should trade houses for a week. I know Raya would like that. Well, I can guarantee you if you're at my house even for a day, you will change your mind. <laughs> well, you're welcome here anytime. My moms, they loved you. I guess I should get home. Um, yeah. I'll see you well, tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> bye. 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 Uh. Zoe. Hi. We have some exciting news. We, Austin's family, has agreed to make a generous donation to save the Halloween party. What? Really? Thank you. We're calling it Austin DuPont Presents Halloween. I'm getting into the event business. This is good for my personal brand. You have no idea how much this means to me. Just one thing. We need to find a place to host it. That shouldn't be too hard, right? The hotel's booked that night, but I'm sure you two will figure it out. I gotta go, but thanks again. Thanks. I'm sorry, what was that? Thank you. Austin. Hey. Hi. What's up? I called your house last night. Your dad said you were out? Yeah, I was at Riggs' house. Riggs? Like Rye's brother? Yep. Is that like a thing now? I don't know, Brody. I was just at his house for dinner. Weird. Why is that weird? I don't know. I mean, you just never really talked about him like that. Oh, like how you never talked about Viv? That's different. How is that different, Brody? Because, like... Zoe, I didn't mean... The event home near the slab has a bat mitzvah that night, so that's out. Mm, what about a house party? I mean, Boots has a great living room. No dice. School wouldn't allow it. <laughs> Aren't you in an art class right now? Okay, it doesn't mean that I'm good at it. <laughs> Here, let me help. Oh my god. <laughs> what about Junior's? Junior? He's a grump. I doubt he'd go for it. Cleo used to work there. She was a barista for like a year. Junior loved her. I can ask him. Are you sure? I don't mind doing it. No, it's okay. Thank you, by the way. For what? Supporting all of this. You know, before my parents split up last year, 
We were the Halloween house in our neighborhood. My dad would go all out and decorate outside to be really spooky with cobwebs and strobe lights, and they'd sit on the porch and hand out king-size candy bars. Cleo loved Halloween, too. It was just a week away from her birthday. Hey, uh, Isaac, you might want to come out for a second. Flower delivery. Therefore, um... Yeah, let me guess. Isaac. <laughs> Another girl sending you flowers, huh? My mistake. I must be at the wrong school. Elliot. You know the flower guy? He's not the flower guy. I mean... He's delivering flowers. But the flowers are from Elliot. We met this summer. He's uh, my boyfriend. Can you finally give me the Zoe update? What's there to say? Dinner was fun, she's cool. But are you gonna see her again? Maybe movies or milkshake at Juniors? <laughs> I like her, I'm just not sure if I like, like her. But you haven't even given it a shot. She met the moms, Raya. I'd call that a shot. But what about something alone, just you two together? Just leave me alone about it. I'm just trying to help. Actually, you're not. You're too scared to find your own boyfriend, so you can get in my way. This is about your issues, not mine. What? She's doing it again. I'll talk to her. All right, let's get started. I'm so sorry I'm late. It's okay, Zoe, we've missed you. Well, now that we have you, why don't you give us an update on all things Zoe Valentine? Sure. Um, well, let's see. Um, I'm planning this Halloween party at school, which is super fun, but also reminds me of Cleo, because it's right around her birthday, and it's when she would also celebrate. So, yeah, I guess that's it. So part of grieving is remembering, but another part is reconciling. That means putting something, say this Halloween party, in perspective with the person that we've lost. How are you really feeling inside, Zoe? Oh, um. I'm sorry I can't do this right now. Well, we all have our own way of grieving. I know I should be thinking about Cleo, but there's just this stupid Halloween party, and then Isaac has a new boyfriend, and then Brody just freaked out at me today. Brody? Why on earth would he be mad at you? I don't know. I guess went to Riggs' house and didn't tell him. What about his secret summer girlfriend that he didn't even tell you about? Next time I see that boy, I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. No, you don't have to. Yeah, I want to. What's up, guys? Oh, perfect. What? What's up is, what's your problem, Autumn? My problem? Look, you can't be bothered to actually hang out with Zoe since you've got this new girlfriend, and then the second that she finds a new guy, you give her attitude about it? Look, I know it used to be you two against the world, but you've made it perfectly clear that she's replaceable. And guess what? So are you. 
Is this your sister's special secret menu drink? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Just how I remembered it. Happy birthday, Cleo. Happy birthday, Cleo. So, I wanted to clear the air. You know, I, I get the grief group wasn't totally your thing. Um, and it, it took me a little getting used to too, but once I did, it changed my whole outlook on life. Uh, uh, do you need to answer that? I'm so sorry, there's just this Halloween party happening and I have to text Isaac. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, <laughs> um, I was really just hoping you'd give it another try. Oh, um, I don't know, Ken. It just seemed like I wasn't very good at it. Oh, well, but that's the point. It's, a, it's about improving ourselves and our relationship with Cleo. Okay, but Cleo's... I'm sorry, I have to take this. Oh, but Zoe, I, I have something Okay, for you. I'm sorry, but if I could just be honest with you, I'm really busy right now, and I know you're trying to help me, but I have to go. Okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I've just been needing to tell you something and I'm kind of nervous about how you'll react. Oh, just tell me, what is it? You know how there was a heart on your math exam? Oh my God, did Riggs tell you about that? No, see, I put it there. What? Raya! I know, I, I thought Riggs needed a little push. That heart was the reason why I asked him out, okay? Which led to him asking me out. But it worked. Yeah, as a pity date. No, Zoe, I know, and I feel really bad. We need to talk to Coach about that lineup. Thanks to Isaac, we're having the party at Junior's, so we still have plenty left for food and drinks. I can't believe you actually made this work. Well, I had to promise to post about Austin's event business on Instagram, but we had to do something. <laughs> I'm really sorry about the whole thing that happened at Junior's. Autumn didn't mean what she said. She can get a little overzealous sometimes. Autumn didn't say anything I hadn't already thought about. Now for candy. I was thinking only chocolate without nuts, just to make sure we don't have any allergy issues. Yeah, smart. Hey, Mo. Hey. We're good on the field today. Jefferson should be worried. I feel like we should talk. Wanna grab a bite at Junior's? Yeah, man. Two figures, nameless, faceless, locked in a tight embrace. In his work, our artist shows us a passionate but furtive kiss. The man literally has one foot out the door, while the woman, too, seems quite caught up in the moment. And there, lurking in the corner, an ominous shadow. So, do you want to talk about it? No. Fine, I'll talk. Is there something going on between you and Zoe? Because ever since we've been back at school, that's the message I've been getting loud and clear. 
We've been best friends for like 10 years. It's just a lot of history. I don't know what you want me to do. Maybe it's time that you and I had more of a serious talk. Thanks again for coming. Yeah, of course. What's up? I really like you. Oh. As a friend. <laughs> okay, good. Because <laughs> I really like you as a friend, too. Yeah, I've talked to Raya. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, Zoe. She feels like she has to look out for me because of the way things have been in the past. Her heart's in the right spot, but sometimes she can go a little overboard. Yeah, it's okay. I, I really wanted to make it work, too. I thought maybe if we hung out, then my feelings would change or something, but it just... It's okay. I get it. I feel the same way. Like, on paper, we should work. Right. But things aren't always an equation. <laughs> exactly. I gotta be honest with you. I've been an idiot. <laughs> Calling things gay, making fun of guys all the time. I wasn't thinking. It's okay. I know you didn't mean anything bad by it. Still, it's no excuse. You're my best friend, man. No matter what. You're my best friend too. I promise I'm gonna do better. I'm starting now. Come here. What's with the tablecloth, man? You know I've got a boyfriend, right? <laughs> To it. Have fun. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You're back. Hi, honey. Where's Casper? He went to bed. Oh, I'm happy you're home. I'm happy to be home. Your Aunt Judy says hi, and that you need to call her more often. Okay. Um, now that you're both home, I just want to ask you something. Just please, just answer honestly. Are you going to get a divorce? No, honey, we're not. No, we just needed some time to think and to work some things out. But now your mom's home. And we can do that together. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Isaac. I shouldn't have just shown up like that. It was this, this big romantic gesture in my head, but coming out should have been your choice. I, I didn't realize. I don't know. Probably not the way I would have done it, but I'm glad you came. I should have told you what was going on instead of just blowing you off. Maybe. I get it. I shouldn't have just assumed. It's fine. Really. Hey, you got a new email from Cleo? that I'm not there and that I don't get to tell you all of this in person. 
I know today is going to be hard and weird and sad, and I'm sorry I'm not there to give you a hug. But I wanted you to know that I love you, and I'll always be with you no matter what. Even though it looks like I won't always be there to give you advice or guidance, and I'm sorry for that too. But I wanted to pass on some advice that I hope will help. Accept change as it comes. Accept the sadness, the happiness, all of it. Put yourself out there. Be brave enough to be vulnerable. And ask for help. I can't tell you everything's always going to be okay. Because sometimes things just aren't. Occasionally the world will shift beneath your feet. And when that happens, find the people who support you. The people you love who love you back. They'll help get you through. The anniversary of Houdini's death is on Halloween which feels eerily fitting for a man who made his whole life but escaping from seemingly impossible places. If anyone would be able to escape death, it would have been him. Hey, loser makes the party announcement. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ooh, ooh, bye bye. <laughs> I'm really glad we're doing this. Yeah, me too. So, what do you going as? Okay, don't laugh, but peanut butter. It's a thing with Autumn. What about you and Brody? Um, well, I'm going as Red Riding Hood, and to be honest, I'm not so sure about Brody. Yeah, I've always been so indecisive. That's kind of what I need to talk to you about. We, uh, we broke up. What? I just wanted to let you know in case I've been standing in the way of you two. Oh my god, no, no, not at all. We're, we're friends. We've always just been friends. Are you sure? Yes. Besides, I wouldn't do that to you. Attaway, uh, hi. This is your student council president, Liza, my, Isaac Jones speaking. Um, just want to remind you that we're having a Halloween party tonight at Junior's, sponsored by Austin DuPont. Uh, every ticket sold goes towards the Greener Attaway, so I hope to see you all there. That was good. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, can we talk for a second? Sure, I just wanted to apologize. I should not have blown up about Riggs like that. No, it's my fault. I did this last year with this girl Riggs liked and it totally blew up. I'm sure it wasn't your fault. I mean, I sent her an engraved necklace with their names on it. But let's not dwell on that, right? <laughs> and then I met you and I liked you so much. I thought I could set it right by introducing you. Raya, I wanna be your friend, whether or not I'm dating your brother. Which reminds me. I made something for you. Whoa, it's like tarot plus magic. Yeah, one of a kind cards for one of a kind friend. <laughs> God, that was really cheesy. <laughs>
Hey. Hi. So, I um, got your email. You mean Cleo's email? I promised her that I would send it out to you and Isaac and everyone she left. Well, I can't stop watching it. <laughs> yeah, me too. She used to get so nervous that everyone would move on and forget about her. I'm trying to move forward, but I'm not trying to move on. You know you can always talk to me about Cleo, right? I hope I can do the same when I miss her. I've just really needed my big sister these last few weeks. And now I have her here for a little bit. So, thank you. I'm really glad we got to know each other, Zoe. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Come on, we have a Halloween party to attend. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. <laughs> Yo! Hey, there's my PB. Hi, you look so cute. Thank you. You look so cute. I'm Jilly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Luke couldn't be here. It's okay. He said he'd make it up to me with candy in a movie marathon. Aww. But I'd rather be here with you anyway. <laughs> hey everyone. Thanks for coming to Austin DuPont Presents Halloween. <laughs> if you guys have fun, please rate Austin DuPont Presents on Yelp and reach out to me for all your event planning needs. I'd just like to say thank you to the student council for their trust in me. Now let's have a great time! a blast. You guys really care about each other. Yeah, we do. I wanted to say thank you. For what? For supporting Isaac. You may not know it, but it, it means a lot. He's lucky to have you. Well, he's lucky to have you too. Don't you have three pigs to scare or something? Oh, they're around here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I meant what I said. You did a great job with all this. Thanks. I mean, it's not as cool as off-campus lunches or a massage therapist, but uh, I'm, I'm kidding. No, you're not. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's why I like you, Anderson. Keep me honest. Someone needs to tear down that ego a little bit. A little? Maybe more than a little. <laughs> <laughs> You okay, Zoe? Yeah. I just never had friends like you guys. I don't know, last year I got all of my sister's friends all of a sudden, but this year I have my own. I'm so sappy, I know. <laughs> I just, I wanted to say thank you. Uh, Viv, I think someone's here to see you. Actually, I was hoping I could talk to Zoe.
Hi. Hi. I think this is the longest we've ever fought. It's not a record I'm trying to break anytime soon. I'm sorry, Zoe. I shouldn't have kept things from you, and I should have been there for you. We made a promise that things would go back to normal, and I messed that up. No, oh, I'm sorry, too. I was so focused on trying to get things back to normal that I didn't realize maybe this is the new normal. I'm really trying to be okay with that. Let's never fight again. No, Brody, we're gonna fight. But instead of letting it boil and making it worse, we just need to talk to each other like we used to. So I'm guessing you know that me and Viv broke up? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not. Look, Viv is great. She's better than great, she's amazing. But she also thought that watching true crime documentaries was for weirdos. <laughs> well, we are kind of weirdos. She also said that I used way too many emojis. She thought that we wouldn't work because I have feelings for someone else. I think she's right. See, I know this girl. She's super sweet and funny and pretty. She's nicer than anyone deserves. She loves her friends and family and magic. And I think I have feelings for her. I mean, look at us, bananas and peanut butter. That's weird, but delicious. So what do you think? <laughs>